I got the wobbles, you see, yeah. The handle is, how to put it, wobbly, a bit like me. But in this video, we are going to fix this. Now, some of you are going to say, why don't you just dunk in some water and it'll all expand and it'll be great, hunky dory. But no, that ain't going to work when you've got wood in wood, you see. It's part of the problem. The thing is, you see, if you allow, allow it to expand in water, they're both going to expand at, at similar rates, so you've still got a slack handle. If it was the case that it was loose in the spade head, well then as that expands, it'll go tight in the metal because the metal ain't going to move. But no, this is wood on wood, you see? Yeah, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy, I say, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyway, we're going to fix this. And to do that, I'm going to have to remove it. Oh yeah, so we're good. Do that first, and then, if I remember rightly, there will be a nail in here, which looks like it's actually right. There's actually there's two. There's two little tiny, very short nails inside these handles. These are French handles, um, but this would be the same thing if you've got a wooden handle in the in the UK, type spade or in the or in the US as well. If it's wood on wood like this, and it's like a socketed more. It's like a tenon joint. It's got shoulders in there. Got to, you see the shoulders, and um, Effectively, it's, well, it's loose. It's no good like that, is it? It's useless. So what I'm going to do is grab some pliers. I'm going to find them here. And just see if we can get rid of that. I should do it, but just by pushing that that way on there. That's gone. And then that one on there. So let's pull, push through. I can't grab it. It's so short. Why are they so short? That's ridiculous. I mean, they're really, really short. You know? They ain't going to do anything, is it? The fact that it's lasted this long, there's no, there's no glue in there whatsoever. But what we're going to do is, we're going to wedge it. We're going to give it a wedgie. That's what we're going to do. And that actual tenon, yeah, it's deep enough. As deep as it needs to be, anyway. Yeah, so that actual tenon is, um, looks relatively, relatively shallow. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wedge in it. All right? So as we drive it in, this will expand a little bit and become tighter in this little socket. We'll also put some glue in it and I'll put another pin or a nail or even a dowel through it as well just to make doubly sure of it. Then it go off and it should be hunky-dory. But to put the wedge in, we first got to cut a wedge. And you've got to think about what direction we want that wedge to be. Otherwise, we could split the handle. Now, along the grain, you're not going to split it along the grain, you're going to split it across the grain. So I need to go that way for the wedge. So I'm going to cut a slot. Okay, I'm just, don't have to be perfect. As long as it's deep enough to go a bit, a bit deeper. La -da 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 -da. Oh my God, it isn't perfect, is it? <laughs> what a good excuse that is. All right, let's go. Another bit on there. I suppose if this, if my little slot that I'm creating, it's not a slot, it's like a, I'm trying to create a V for the wedge to go in, oh, don't, for the wedge to go into. Now, I don't think that one's wide enough, so I'm going to use this one in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a wedge into there, right? I'm going to just cut the end of that off a little bit. Or a pair of a chisel, I suppose. Nice sharp chisel. Because the bottom of the slot is not, a, you know, it's flat on the bottom of that slot. I don't want to drive it all the way in, because it's just going to stop, isn't it? So it's going to be about there, I think. The idea is, as the wedge goes down, these two sides are going to... I can't twist this around anymore, because the spade head's in the way, it's against the bench. So, um, I don't know if you leave there, if you can see. There's my little slot that I've created. And now I'm going to put a wedge in there. And I think we'll go a little bit... Um, a little bit more off the bottom. Otherwise it'll just stop, you see, so I need to make sure there's enough room for it. What I don't want, you see, I don't want this to carry on splitting the handle down the side there. Because you can you have a, a, v, a proper V slot, but the problem with that is, is that it will split the handle. And this still could, could do that, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it should, we should be fine. Okay, that's good, that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Now, I need that 
to be no longer than the depth of the actual slot that I've created. It's about there. Do you like the do you like the bench hook? Oh, there she flies. Let's pick that up. All right. And I am going to use a bit of glue, all right? I'm going to use some PU glue, all right? I'm not using a nozzle, because if you use a nozzle, it just clogs all up. It's going to use a stick. If I can find a stick. We've been having a clear up, and because of that, there's no sticks. So I'm going to use a screwdriver instead, or something. <laughs> that'll do it. I found that'll do it. little screwdriver. We'll have to clean it off. So I've got some PU glue. This one's Cascaper by um, uh, by Eureka Glues. Fast Care Wood Glue, Liquid Polyurethane. Um, but Eureka Glue is the name that sticks. And this is a 10 minute PU glue. So I'm going to grab it at that. Probably way too much because it's going to expand, you see. Put it into that slot. That's way too much. It's so all going to ooze out of there as it, exp as it expands. But hey, I just clean it off. Just make sure you've got it all the way around on all the surfaces. Don't let any surfaces be dry. There's a thing about glues. And the other thing about this, actually, is that we've got to remember that this area here is also a part of the actual um, joint. It's not just this. No. It's, if you look on that, you can see. So let's just wag a little bit in that like so. And then we'll put some around the outside edge here. On the inside of the outside edge. Oh, it just smells like resin. It's polyurethane, it smells like polyester. Right, here we go. Maybe it's similar. Maybe it's a similar sort of stuff. Right, so I'm plonking that in there like so. And I'll wedge. Probably overdoing it because you don't need a lot, you know, a lot of this with the um, PU glue. But you need enough to make, make sure it's bonding to the surfaces. Otherwise, it's just going to expand past the surfaces and not actually bond to them. So, okay, we've got our little wedge there, which I've got some glue on as well. Hang you on a minute, Marcus. That's going into there into this wedge. Doesn't want to be like that. Nope. I need to make it smaller. It does need to be smaller. And the reason for that is because of the socket. So this tenon that's going to go into the mortise. So it's a little bit narrower. See, you've got to be able to work it out as you go, if it makes any sense. There's enough room for it to go all the way down to the bottom. And now we're going to reattach, reattach the handle. So which way around it's going to go, like so. Got to make sure that tenon can actually go into the slot, into the mortise, which you can. And then I'm going to drive it home. You can't tap the bottom because it's, uh, it's got a spade head on it. So sort of dry that down. It don't have to be PU glue, you could use PVA if you want. There, there, Mrs. just come in. Wonder what telling me what she's been doing. She's created loads, she's got a load of compost for us to do so, some potting and hell greenhouse. Right, so it's already tight. A bit tighter, maybe that's all the way down now. That's all the way down. So what you can do now. If it will be extra, extra careful, or actually extra secure, you put a little screw down through the side or, or a dowel through the side. Let's see what I've got. Do, 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 do. I think an eight mil dowel might be a little bit, I mm, don't know. Could do an eight mil. As long as I'm going through the tent, I've got a sort of twist, you see? I'm putting a dowel on a sort of twist. The problem with nails is they bend. Uh, and as you're using it, it's gonna eventually, it's just gonna, bend and break, isn't it? So I'll grab a drill and a drill bit. Got all that glue to glue, drill, um, drill through as well. So I'm doing an eight mil, which is, that's eight mil. And these uh, dormer drill bits. And the drill's a bit about as low. That's normal, I just took off the charger. It's probably not good, isn't it? So all I'm gonna do is, oh, hang on, that ain't working. Oh, blooming nail in the way. That's it. That's better. Oh, 
I've got a nail. I'm, I'm, I should have removed the nail in full, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. I think the six mil would have probably done that actually. So I've gone all the way through, probably because splintering. Oh, that's no, not too bad. And all that glue that's oozing out there, let's not worry about that. Let's use it. Get in the hole. You. I've got glue on the side as well. That's the thing about PU glue, it's, it doesn't take long before it starts trying to grow out of every single nook and granny. That one's a bit loose. Why is that number six, eight really loose? It's not six, it's definitely eight. Oh, I know why, because it's one I created with a with a draw ball. But it won't matter because this glue's going to expand. I need a rag. I'm creating a right old mess here. I do. I don't want to put loads of glue over the teeth of my saw, if I can help it. So let's just wipe it off the best that you can and just cut off that dowel here. The next time I need to do this, the likelihood is I'm gonna need a new handle anyway. They're only like a fiver here, and it's not worth making them. For fiver, is it, you know? They're so cheap. So I'll grab a sander, which I've got one around there, kick around there somewhere. What do I do with that holes over here? Let's go and grab that. Uh, well, angle grinder with a sand and disconnect. That's good. You don't want any lumps on it because you've got a hole, didn't you? It's going to hurt the hands. Excuse me, boys, I'm full of cold today. Started on the weekend, that's driving me insane. There you go, that's good. Just need to clean off this excess again, the glue, because it was all oozing out. Yeah. Oh, so twisting it, isn't it? Might be better off with a pull saw. I'll put a bit of wax on the pull saw first. So if I do get any glue on the old blade, what I should have done on that one, I can then easy get rid of it because it won't stick to where the wax is oh my voice is going <laughs> oh it's so rough yesterday it was terrible i was in a hell of a state yesterday the dowel i'm using is the one that i've made and for some reason it seems to be a bit on the smaller side i don't know why Usually the case. There you go. Oh, that's better. That glue go off on there, that'd be really tight. Now you could wax screw in the end if you really want to go crazy about it, but it's totally unnecessary. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. I'll we'll sand it down a little bit more than that. <laughs> Once I go off, what I do is I use a bit of linseed oil. So there we have a handle that is pretty darn rigid, eh? I reckon it goes off in 10 minutes, I reckon, without a doubt. Uh, no, but that's not moving, though. A little bit of wiggle, hardly anything. So there you go, anyway, that's how you can repair the handle on a tool. Yes, the garden tool. Toodaloo! Have a lovely day!